Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Conference USA might be one of the most underrated conferences in the land, but after this one, the secret will be out. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. are set to tangle in this year's Shula Bowl. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Number 17, He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run up the middle. Wilson gets about four yards on the play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it 35. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. Hayes is the punter. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's tackled at the 41. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. It's second and 13. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it third and three. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Callahan can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Looking for the corner. Gets to about the 24-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. That 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He goes downtown. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. The Owls lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Up the middle for a nice game. but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Fights forward to about the 13. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. the 15. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. They'll run for it. Can't get there. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Pressure coming. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the sack makes this a second and long. After a decent run up the gut. We played one. No score here. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 45. That's, That's good, good for a gain of 26 yards. yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Just three, just three. Now he's scrambling. Under pressure, lets it fly. <laughs> From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Pass 
misses, and it's almost picked off. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He dropped it. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Complete. He's got room. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. And he's taken down at the 36. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That'll make it third and 13. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on their own 36. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Good man open, and he dropped it. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Harris is back deep to return. Taken down at the 44. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. On the throw, incomplete pass. Second and it's second and ten. Ball on their own 44. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down right around midfield. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's level at the 48. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Zips it to the back. He's taken down at the 50. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call.
Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Steps out of bounds around the 34 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it, and they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he throws it away. From the 18-yard line, second down. He's into the open field. Big play, and it's first and goal. Lord Atlantic will take their second time out of the half. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Touchdown, Owls. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, let him go in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 56 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now. 7-0. Callahan has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the 6. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Strike complete, and he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike, 55, right there in the middle. Here we go. Check, check. There's a laser across the middle. He's tackled at the 38. Complete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. From the 47-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Just throws this one away. The Golden Panthers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. 
And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Five-yard line. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Florida Atlantic is up a score. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Harris gains about four yards on the play. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 7-0, Owls. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Shaw takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 30. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Florida Atlantic up seven points. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's a deep Tackle made at the 48 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and two. He 
he makes it to the 32-yard line. Pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. Watch the throw, watch the throw, watch the throw. Florida Atlantic is up by a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. And he is drilled at the two. That makes us And they hit him in the backfield. This one should be makeable. Florida Atlantic can make this a two possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Callahan has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Weatherford fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. The Owls continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And they push him out at the 40. That's just a great call by the coordinator there, going to the air on first down. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Got an opening. Makes it out to about the 26. about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 22-yard line, second down. Here we go. He'll get it again. Runs outside for a nice game. Flag down, and I'm not sure First when it was thrown. Let's find Flip out. Offense. Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. Mike 34, Mike 34. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Complete across the middle. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Gets 
takes it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Inside the 10. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. point to draw within three points and he hits the PAT a seven play 66 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive but the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense so our score 10-7 fielded at the nine and he shoved out of bounds around the 47 yard line The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Florida Atlantic is up a field goal. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down in the open field. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. He's tackled at about the 27 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Brought down at the 11 yard line. Through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. The Owls lead. 10-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Out of bounds around the three-yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Florida Atlantic is up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Callahan has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From the seven. Brought down at the 29. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's tackled in the open field. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's 
taken down. Right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 22 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. two-yard line. It's second down. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clip it. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. Third down. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. 34 is the mic, 34 is the mic. Just under two to go in the game. Here we go. Play. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So they're going to go for it here. should do it a fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game i think they had to go for it given the circumstances they just couldn't pull it off here we are late in the fourth quarter and this is what this game has come down to every possession is going to count and this could be the one right here and they make the stop at the 36-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. From their own 36-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Golden Panthers use their second timeout. yard line and he'll be stopped well short of the first down you have the lead in the fourth quarter and it's third and long why risk a turnover just play it safe and work the clock and they're coming after this punter gets to about the 47 yard line 
Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. They'll get the ball with a change of possession on the punt, but time is starting to be a factor. A field goal is out of the question here. They need to get the ball into the end zone. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. Just over a minute left. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. The spike will stop the clock. From the 48-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit immediately. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. That was completely stopped immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Spikes the ball. Third down again. They go to the ground game. Tackle made at the 27 yard line. the clock with a spike. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. The Cavalry's coming. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. Washington was the intended receiver on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. He passes it. It's broken up. Number 17, Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Gets rid of it quickly. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Owls with the win, 13-7. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Florida Atlantic came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.